Welcome to Cut Above Tarot, Scorpio. Scorpio! 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 Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus in our placements. Thank you for coming back to Cut Above Tarot. This is your breakfast read. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Get in where you fit in. If you don't find yourself nowhere in this reading, please check out your other placements. And also, I'll see you in another video. Yay, yay. Scorpio, uh, I did your energy read, and it is came, and I'm using Imperial Dragon Oracles. Imperial Dragon Oracles for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. And you have the number eight card. All right? And this card speaks uh, pretty much about strength and your spiritual powers. And the meaning of it is fortitude. Okay? That's what the number eight means in this one. Fortitude. So it says, when presented with difficulties and challenges, we sometimes feel the potential sacrifices we will have to make in order to overcome them. But sacrifice are never as much as we imagine and the potential rewards are beyond our dreams. Have faith and understand that you have many strengths on the physical, emotional, and spiritual level to draw on. Okay? And I believe that. That's true because I've met many Scorpios and I have not seen a weak Scorpio still to this day. Now, Scorpio, after I started, after I put your card down and stuff, this says that you've been going through, baby. Four cups. Somebody offered you something that you didn't really want. Five of wands. Yeah, you had a little spat about an altercation and drama. It might be some real serious fighting. Uh huh. Thirdly, okay, it was a uh, 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 some mental anguish, uh, some emotions. Uh, yeah, yeah, somebody was treating you, either this is what happened to you, or somebody was did this to you, and you've been dealing with uh, some some abuse, baby, in some shape, form, or fashion. Might be somebody verbally just abusive, okay, and you just took as much as you can. Now, let me see what the cards got to say. Nine of swords, nine of swords, nine of swords. Oh, mental anguish, mental anguish and despair. Problems that cause pain, dealing with negative reactions, being too critical and too hard on yourself. Let go of negative thinking. So, Scorpio, you've been in some negative thinking about a situation. And, however, your next set of cards says that uh, you was in this so much that God had to step in on you. Okay? Yeah, you uh, you, you was on it, baby. You know, if you think about something long enough and strong enough, yeah, something going to happen. And in this case, God stepped in. Okay? All right? Yeah. Because you need strength. Yeah. You need strength. Okay? Yeah. Because you've been going through, baby. You've been going through, and you don't know how much more of this you can take. Right? Let me see what the card means. Eons. No, Eons. Eon is the judgment card. Link with Pluto, associated with common sense, the ability to understand and forgiveness. Diverging perspectives have brought forth a new consciousness that spreads its influence. The risk, this resurrection asks for a change to be recognized. So, yeah, you ask for change in this situation that you've been going through. You ask for some change. Mm-hmm, Scorpio. It said, it heralds improvement, completion, motivation, and inspiration. With her trumpet, the angel calls for a new way of life. Yeah, you ready to live a whole different lifestyle. You ready to move on from all of this that you've been going through to something different. So you say, I deserve better. You sure do. Mm -hmm. When we follow this call, everything changes and consciousness is awakened. The Hebrew character Shin is the symbol of a tooth and represents fire. Okay. So, yeah, you ask them for change, and you might not even know that you're doing it because you're going through so much, but, you know, this over here got to go. You can't put up with too much more of this. I need a change in my life, my relationship, my lifestyle, something that you won't change in because it's bringing too much to you, too much burden. Okay, you got the star card. The star card talking about healing, baby. You being physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually uh, healed. Okay, you're getting balance brought in to you. All right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, baby, let me go ahead and read that one for you. I got to find that one for you. I want you to know the truth. It's 
Scorpio. Okay. It says this card is linked with Aquarius. So maybe you got some Aquarius in your chart. All right. It says linked with Aquarius associated with self-confidence and recognition. After the storm comes peace and after the darkness comes light. The star card encourages us to have. See if I can get some light on this. Can't. Okay, the star card encourages us to have hope, optimism, faith, and divine intuition and trust in our inner guide. It offers the gift. All right, I'm going to put it down. It, off <coughs> it offers the gift of premonition. This star is painted as a three-dimensional star tetrahedron hedron, or the macabre vehicle of light. The star is the light that guides the way. The pyramid have an astrological connection to the star of Sirius. The mermaid water bearer introduces the holistic new perceptions of life in the age of Aquarius. The flowing of water of the ancient picture gives wisdom and life of the world and activates the subconscious. Two fish suggest the sign of Pisces, signifying opposition and development. The Hebrew character is Zadi, T-Z-A-D-D-I. Symbol is the fish hook and represents morality. Okay, and your last card is the tower card on there. So, yeah, all of this, is, baby, all of this going on is happening for you. Uh, yeah, you about to get exactly what you're asking for. You want change? Yeah, the tower card in this one is a good tower. It's not a bad tower. Because when that come change comes, it's like, whew, all of a sudden, you just wipe away everything, just like immediately. And you just feel, okay, fresh start, starting over, moving on. All right, this has been your read and Scorpio, your breakfast read. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I pray I'll be well for you this day.